Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Lionel. I'm your host for LT Productions, and you are watching I Watch You Watch. Uh, we are covering a la carte, which is currently streaming on the all black streaming services every Thursday. We're on season two, episode seven. And I thank you all for coming back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, please give this video a like, share it. Also, subscribe to this channel if you are entertained or enjoy the commentary that I do give. Um, of course, this is a new channel. I had another channel, but I'm growing and I appreciate everyone for coming by. Also, leave your comments. But let's get on into this. I think there's some things that I do want to talk about this episode, too. But let's go. All right. So Shira, she's uh, speaking with one of the directors for uh, the internship that um, she's trying to get into. Um, she was able to make contact with the person. Um, she's feeling really positive. She hasn't been selected as of yet, but she's on high right now. So she calls Yvette in. Of course, she started like something's going on. I think she brings a bat or something with her. And um, basically, she just tells Shira or tells uh, Shira tells Yvette uh, the good news that at least she feels or the good feeling. So Yvette said, hey, we need to party a little bit. So let's go on and invite Misha and Rain over. And um, Shira says, well, I think they're busy right now. And Yvette said, hold up. You haven't spoken to, to them yet? <laughs> and of course, Yvette's like, I can't with you. I can't with you. <laughs> um, basically, I think that all in all, Shira is embarrassed about what she's done. And she doesn't know how to confront it. Now we're going to see through this episode that I feel like even how she's emoting and how she's at least trying to deliver it to them as to what is her frustration. I don't think it's fair. And I don't think it was the right emotion or right feeling that she was feeling or trying to tell her friends. So we'll get into that. <laughs> so we find out that Shira was not the one that had um, the chlamydia. She just had allergies. And Yvette said, you know what? I think you need to have a standing appointment uh, with the clinic since you're dealing with Derek. And Shira's like, well, why? Da, 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 da. I'm like, now, Shira. Now, I know. You know. Shira. Shira. Now, you know Derek is just not clink clinking and only opening up to you. I'm like, what? Come on now. Come on. Whatever. Um, and then he's, Yvette ended up saying about Derek, um, he ended up outing you out to you or airing you out to your friends. And Shira was like, wait, what do you mean? And then Yvette said, well, I think you need to go handle that with him. Um, so Yvette didn't actually say what, but I'm like, I, I don't get it. I, I don't get why that didn't come back up in conversation. Because I'm like, well, this should have been handled like, what, two episodes ago, two or three episodes ago. It's like you went home with him as, and had sex with him, even though you've been upset with your friends and trying to avoid them, basically avoid them, not even being upset. Um, all right, so Misha, she's in with uh, Miss DeVoe and congratulating her on the, the recent showcase. And she has booked her to do a tailgate um, event. Misha's a little offended, like, what? I'm doing all this stuff for little kitties, da 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 da. And Miss DeVoe says, You got to crawl before you walk, little girl. Like, uh, but she's saying that she's expecting a lot of things even out of this. You never know who is in the crowd that may even want to fund a tour for you. I mean, right now, Misha, all I know is that you've still only recorded one song. And you're only singing one song. So, I mean, unless you got a whole album like Whitney Houston, I'm like, well, what are we doing? <laughs> you're not ready to go anywhere as of yet? Come on. Let's just get you developed. Mr. DeVoe says that you got to get your eight count down or something like that. So get that together and then we can move forward. Um, Derek is on a, um, what are those calls called? What are those calls called? Like a video phone call um, with his baby mama. And they just start talking. Derek expresses himself, uh, finally, I guess, or at least we get to hear it, uh, about the baby mama not telling him about that he had a daughter at first. And she says, well, you know, I was scared that I was going to be rejected because you were doing a thing in L.A., da 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 if she told him. Um, Derek said that wasn't the case, da 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 So they were kind of going back and forth a little bit. And Derek just said, you know, um, um, expect to see me in court uh, to get partial custody. At that point, the baby mom got upset, like, no, you're not taking my baby, blah, 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 blah. They got a lot of things to handle. I don't know if we're going to see anything else from them, um, but we shall see. All right, so we go back to the studio, and we see Misha trying to avoid Corey. Corey comes in. Misha, hey, what are you doing here? I work here. Uh, so they both tell each other that they got chlamydia. You too? So I guess where the chlamydia came in from is Corey. But I... I guess Corey didn't even know that he that she had it or thought that she even had it. But I thought that she was scratching in front of him 
on the last episode. I would have thought he would have at least had um, some type of indication like, ooh, I wonder if she has it. So they shared it amongst each other. And uh, he's just like, was was um, kind of relieved that Corey was taking it so well. He's like, you know, we're grown. You know, this stuff happens, you know, da, 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 da. at least you're taking care of yourself. Blah, blah, blah. And at least they were honest to each other. But Corey said, you know, you need to tell Nicole uh, because I don't want to have any mess go down the pipeline. And Misha is not really feeling that right now because she doesn't know how to handle that. Um, so Rain. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, so he hosts a town hall meeting. <laughs> and them tenants was eating him up. Even before he could start the meeting, that was basically, who is this? He got this pearl necklace on, da, da, da. Oh my gosh, it was so hilarious. But he was saying, you know, we're, he's trying to really save this plaza as these other corporate guys are trying to muscle you guys up out of here. Not at all. They, they don't think that he's qualified. He's not even a lawyer. He's supposed to be, and, but he's supposed to be graduating really soon. Brandon is there to kind of uh, mediate through this whole thing and to help them to actually hear him out. Uh, he had in his contract, I think like $10,000. But anyways, he said, you know, because they were asking, okay, I see you doing all this, getting famous and clicks off of social media. Um, I don't know if you're trying to help us, but what is it in for you if you do help us with all of this? And he said, well, at least what I need is a retainer and also 10%. Of, or no. No, he wanted perks within their businesses and, and all of that. And it's like, I think that's probably fair right now. But they're just not taking him serious because he's not a, an official lawyer. And I think they were asking, you know, oh, no. But anyways, nobody's really biting right now. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to bite, but it would be a huge win for him. I don't know. I don't know what's the proper procedure in all of this. And even if she should be doing this, um, Brandon asked, you know, are you able to do this without a, a real, um, real um, agency behind you? Because, you know, they got corporate big wigs behind them. Da, 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 da. And Ray said, don't worry about it. Da, 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 da. Um, Derek comes in. Let's see. They're shooting the breeze a little bit about this whole case, and somehow Rain lets it out that Derek is, is uh, doing porn in his uh, uh, workout studio and all that. Well, he said doing porn, and then Brandon was like, oh, you're doing that up there in the studio? And Rain was like, how do you know that? So it's like Brandon on one hand is acting like, oh, you're doing that, what? And then on then he's able to specify the location of where he's making his content at. So that was a little bit interesting. Um, Misha and Nicole... She's, they're all laying down and ready for bed. And Misha was like, you know, I can't, I'm excited for this a new event that Miss Devoe has me on. And Nicole was talking about teaching because right now she has been accused. She's suspended with pay. And she was suspended automatically because this guy, this child has tried to say that he was coming on, that she was coming on to him. Um, but Nicole says concerning her music career, um, you know, hopefully you make it, but I just wouldn't get my hopes up too well. Just like some of the Destiny children, some, some of them, we didn't see anything from. I think she said something to that nature. Uh, shout out to Farah. <laughs> say my name, say my name. <laughs> now, but anyways, but she said, well, just like Judy Winslow from A Family Matter. So, oh, yes. That was foul how they did that girl. She never came back downstairs. So, since um, Misha's trying to concentrate on her music career. She's like, you know, just don't let Mr. Vo um, get in your head too much. I'm like, I don't understand that at the beginning of the season, you were pushing her into music, and then now it's the total opposite. And now you need to know who she's with, and it was too much. I, the red, first red flag to me with Nicole is, was in the first episode where she was like, oh, I gotta vet the ones that you're gonna get peen from, but it didn't matter what girl or woman that Amisha was going to be with. That was a little bit odd to me. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't like Nicole because all she has done is just put her down. When that relationship was solid, I don't know. I mean, people were very supportive of her and her venture and, and getting a second store. Misha's following her dreams. So I don't think that Misha and Nicole are going to work it out. What do you guys think? Um, let's see. So, Shira is at the, the bar um, with Watts. Um, Somehow they get on the subject of making some drinks and Shira figures out that he's really not a bartender because she was trying to figure out on the day of the auditions, like, why was he acting this way? He's like, no, because he had not, he did not know that there was an audition going on. He just came up to, to the bar or club, whatever they want to call it, 
and was just looking to talk to him, to her. So then they watch gets on a story about when he was, when they were young and she was staying with them. Shira had just came out of the, the, the bathtub or just getting a bath or whatever. He's, the dad sat here in the middle of the bed or close to the edge or something of that nature. And dad walked away for just a few minutes. And then um, I think she ended up crying or whatever. And I think was about to fall. I think um, Watt said that he ended up grabbing her, taking him, taking her someplace and warming her up. I guess she was cold or whatever. And she start, stopped crying because she was crying. Um, and he knew that it was just a wonderful feeling to be a big brother. Um, and then he shows a photo of him actually holding Shira as a baby. And Shira says, Axe, could he send that photo to her? And he says, sure. And then all of a sudden, the the, <laughs> the, the guard comes up with Shira. No, I'm just asking for a photo. I'm not looking for anything else. Da, 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 da. Of course. So in walks Derek. Derek wants to speak to Shira. So Watts, Watts, Watts walks out. They speak because now Derek uh, wants to know why Shira is avoiding him. And then she says, well, you're the one that told uh, my friends about my baby being on the line. And then he was like, well, really, I, I do apologize. I didn't, I thought your friends actually knew, but it was just something that slipped out. And then she said, well, it's one thing for my friends to know, but my mother, oh, I don't know why <laughs> that matters. Of course, you guys have a, a weird relationship, but okay, Shira. So what is your mom gonna do? <laughs> because you want, you want to present a different image to your mom that's anti your mom. And now that she can see that there's some faults in you, I guess you think that it's going to be, um, it's going to be, how can I say this? It's going to make you look a certain way to your mom that you didn't want it to happen. So she's mad and she doesn't really want to see him anymore, but she doesn't really walk away. So obviously they have a great bond. I love how the writers have written them because she doesn't really leave, even though she's telling him to get out of here. I don't want to see you no more. Blah, 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 blah. He ends up telling her that, look, I want to make it up to you. Um, after the holidays, I'll do something for you. Um, uh, I'm going to be visiting my daughter for the first time. And then immediately she shifts and just says, how do you feel about that? And he gives his feelings about that. And that kind of smooth things over. Like, look, I can't change the past. I, I do regret it or whatever. But when I get back, um, I'll take you anywhere that you want to go. And Shai was like, is that a date? So obviously we're moving from F buddy to now possibly potentially dating. We'll see how that goes. But if you watch the end of that episode, you know that other revelations are coming up that are going to be barriers as Shira is trying to open her heart and let her guards down again. All right. All right. So Rain gets a call from his advisor and they said that they were just calling him as an exit interview because he'll be graduating pretty soon. Um, and the advisor was surprised that this agency, I think he just put an agency down on there, um, but was able to take on this case. Da, 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 da. So Rain has been doing a lot of stuff trying to graduate and scamming and all that good stuff. And I think it's going to blow up in his face. This is episode seven. So we got one, two, three more episodes to see what's going to happen. Anyways, um, later on, Brain is outside with Mecca. And Mecca is uh, giving him a massage or had someone give him a massage or whatever. Um, he says that he wanted to really show Mecca because he started rubbing his feet and all that good stuff. He wanted to show Rain that he's serious about it. And then Rain got on him saying, you know, I don't appreciate what you did to me at the club. But I mean, Rain. He already told you. And you forgot the script. That's all I can say. But it looks like you're going to be fighting for respect while another man was respecting you. That's all up to you. He just says, you know, I'm not your little secret. But guess what? That's how you're going to keep it. <laughs> Trust. That's that's Mecca's thing. Until I see something different in the light, I don't know about you, Mecca. I don't know. Um, Let's see. So now it's time for everybody to start partying. The game goes down to, is it Del yeah, Delia's. They come up with this game and it involves if you lose or whatever, you have to give body shots to whoever your partner is. So they end up linking up Shira with Brandon, whom I really first thought that that was going to be the pair. But I'm actually liking how they've done this story because it's basically two opposites are attracting and someone who's an outcast is now able to date someone within the in crowd. I think it's pretty genius. So, um... Brandon ends up having to give body shots uh, to Shira. He does it. Derek is uncomfortable with it, and he really wants to say something about it. Rain is trying to egg stuff on because he knows that um, Shira and Derek are together, or at least effort. 
So he's saying, oh, looks like Brandon and Shira is a match made in heaven. I said, you are messy, dude. Messy, messy, messy. All right, so after they're done with those body shots, Brandon goes up to Derek and says that he would F the ish out of Shira. <laughs> uh, I wonder if he's going to be a contender. It doesn't seem like it because it seems like Brandon wants to be professional, even though we know that he will go and F in your in your closet, in the closet of your workplace. Probably a worker we didn't know. Um, so basically at this point, everybody's high. The game is high. Uh, Watts is looking at him, her crazy, at, at the different ones crazy. <laughs> if you can see Rain and, and Bisha, they're like, <laughs> it's crazy. But this has all been set up by Yvette. They make it back to the house, and they got all of those, um, you know, the, the, the new craze or new trend is for different uh, models that you, like, paint or sketch, sympathy type of thing. And, of course, you sketch them naked or they are naked or whatever. So they're having a good time, but they're high also. Yvette comes in finally. Now, Rain. Rain is with two guys, and he's venting. Um, he says that, you know, I have a problem. I have two guys in my life. I have uh, the man of my dreams and the F of my dreams. The man of my dreams is there. I'm feeling him, but I also want to be choked. I said, okay, I get it. I get it, Rain. I get it. I get it while you with Mecca. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if y'all, I don't know. <laughs> so as he's talking and venting about everything, all of a sudden, the two men turn into Mecca and Zeke. Shout out to Zeke being back on our screens again. Come on. So they end up telling both of them are conversing and just saying just how of a bad of a person Rain is. Um, and then in this hallucination, Mecca and Zeke decide that they're going to be together and they kiss. I said, oh. Oh. Quite a twist. Quite a twist. Okay, Rain, I, I see... I see the one that's good for you. Or good to you. And good for you. And the one that you just have a lust for. Maybe y'all could do a little throuple thing going on. I mean, both the men are fine, but I just don't know what, how, how much substance there is really in Mecca and what he can really add to your life. I don't know. What do y'all think? Go back to Zeke or just keep getting choked out? <laughs> um, let's see. So, um, where am I at? See, this thing got me all messed up. Okay, so Misha, she's venting <laughs> about her relationship. She doesn't know if she could actually tell uh, Nicole, what's going on? Oh, and all this good stuff. I shouldn't have been messing with the peen. Da, 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 da. And the guy's looking like, okay, that's not what I'm here for. So the gang meets all up, and Shira's, they're just venting right now. And they're just saying, they're just, all their inhibitions are gone. And she's saying, you know what? F my mom, F my dad. And right now, I don't even care that I'm just going to tell you that I'm effing Derek and don't care if you care about it. He's like, oh, what? What? Um, Rain said, I told you. And now I need y'all to pay up. I guess there was a bet going on. I don't think that Yvette was involved in it. Um, but Yvette also said to the ones that were trying to clown her, because Misha was like, you know, so ma mahogany's ass. And then also, that's, uh, is his name uh, Reggie? What's his name, Reggie? My God. If it's Reggie, I don't know. However, Shira's ex-boyfriend. <laughs> um, that was his friend and all that good stuff. Again, as I said last week, they're out of their lives. And I don't... I don't see what the big deal is at this point. Not even in the same state. Um, let's see. So Rain ends up saying to Shira that, oh, Derek is a porn star. So obviously that's going to be quite a, um, what is it? A thorn within this budding relationship that hasn't started as of yet. Um, we know how Shira is, is in her head and she hasn't really had that modern, um, modern type of way of thinking and modern mentality on certain things in her life. So it's going to be tricky as if she can really move on from that or not. So Nicole's at home. Um, by accident, she ends up finding Nicole's a, uh, a medication. I said, Lord. Well, I don't care if they break up. Sorry. Because I think Misha could do a lot better. And I don't even think that Corey is for her, as I've said in a lot of these episodes. But I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to see. But I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Again, please like this video, share it. Also, subscribe to my channel and give me your comments on what you thought of this episode. Uh, until the next one, peace.